Hi, welcome to the part 29 of this playlist. We are looking at real certification questions. Same or similar questions may come in the exam. Plus, you should focus on the concepts and not try to mug the answers. Focus on how we arrive at the uh, right answers and how do we weed out wrong options. The security specialty is for all of you. Cloud is a world of jack of all trades. So even if you are a data analyst, solution architect, you should know security aspects. So you should all try to appear for this certification. This is the YouTube handle. You can search using this. I hope by now you have subscribed and you have become a member as well. Cloud kernel member, a very small premium. You can gain access to so many different contents. So I hope you have uh, gone through the playlist, the previous parts, previous questions. Please do so if you are preparing seriously for this certification. So in this case, the problem statement is clear. It is very clear. See, you see this, they are having these three issues. We want to find answer for these three issues. The first thing is your Lambda has internet access. That means we have to stop that access. So we will move Lambda functions inside VPC. So that if we move it inside VPC, it will not have internet access. Second is your relational database is publicly accessible. So that means you should stop that. How will you do that? You disable public access to the RDS. Okay, because your relational database is on RDS inside a VPC. So you have to disable public access. So we have addressed these two. Third is saying your database credentials are not stored in encrypted states. If you want to store it in encrypted state, you have to do a secure string parameter. So this is my third answer. So we have chosen three answers that we were supposed to do so. So it is a no brainer that, you know, when you have to avoid internet access, you don't do that through IAM roles or IAM policies. So that is wrong. And similarly on the same lines, you see, they are trying to do it for RDS, the internet access restriction. This is wrong. And then when we are talking about credentials to be in the encrypted state, we don't create an advanced parameter. We first make use of a secure string parameter. So these are my three answers. See this next question, what is happening is in the on-premises world, they have DNS logs. They send the DNS logs to SIEM to understand uh, suspicious behavior and get alerts. Now they are moving to AWS. In the AWS world, we want to know what services we should use to mimic that same feature. Plus, plus, remember, plus, you want to add automatic remediation. It was not there in on-premises world. In the AWS world, they want automatic remediation. See, B is wrong because what they are telling you to do is get all the logs in S3 bucket, first thing. Okay, so what's the problem? Okay, not, not much. Then they are saying that you use current on-premises SIEM to monitor the logs. Okay, so from S3, they will still use the existing SIEM in the on-premises. Okay, so this solution is not a comprehensive solution. See, AWS is testing your knowledge on its services. Did you use the, uh, the right services or not? So in B, we did not use it. In C also, we did not use it. In C, what we are doing is, instead of on-premises SIM, we are putting the SIM on EC2 instance. Okay? But that is still not uh, the right solution. The right solution is always to enable guard duty and security hub. Okay? Security hub helps you with security checks and it will centralize the security alerts. That is what we want. We want to centralize it right? for automatic remediation, etc. We want to centralize it and guard duty will help you with intelligent threat detection. It will monitor your AWS accounts, instances, containers, database for potential threats. It is just like your security card in your apartment complex. So now out of A and D, which one is correct? The problem with D is it is telling you to use SCP that denies access. So this is uh, see, we have to give automatic remediation. The automatic remediation solution that D is proposing that they will use SCP to deny API calls that are on the ignore list. Okay, but option A remediation steps looks better because they will use event bridge to trigger Lambda for remediation steps. This is a better option. You can build event driven applications 
SaaS applications, etc., using Event Bridge. And you can do a point to point integration building and so on, and software as a service application and so on. So, option A would be my final answer. This will address all the needs. So, friends, if you have not yet subscribed, please do so. This certification is all about, you know, it's open for all. It is not only for security people. So even if you are a data analyst, a solution architect, go for this certification. You can click the join button below this video, or you can click the link, the join link mentioned in the description. Become a Cloud Kernel member, gain access to a lot more important questions. So this brings us to the end of part 29. These are all real questions that we are working with. But remember, you should focus on the concepts, understand how did we remove the wrong options and arrived at the right ones. Stay tuned, stay focused. We will meet again.